So you want to know how to data mush. Basically, this crazy shit. Alright, let's start by just creating a project for whatever video editor you use. And using Premiere Pro, I'll just come up with a name and create it. Now you just need to get your sources. This is entirely up to you. Although data mushing works much better with clips with a lot of movement. Once you're ready to export, go ahead and do so. Again, just name it whatever. You could even name it John Roller Coaster Jr. is epic or something. Congratulations, you've prepared what I like to call the pre-mosh and you're ready to move on to what's next. Let's talk about the different frames you'll need to familiarize yourself with. The first, and most important, is the iframe. It holds all of the pixel information, and is what causes the goofy looking transition between two different clips. We'll be seeing a lot of these. The second, and almost as important, is the P-frame, which essentially holds the data for pixel movement. If you already kinda know how video compression works, this is nothing new. The last frame I'll mention is the B-frame, which we won't really use. Now you're going to want to open Avidimix. There's a link in the description. Go ahead and import your sequence from earlier. Click no on this pop-up. You're going to want to copy these settings. The most important change is setting the iframe interval to an extremely high number and reducing the amount of B frames to zero. This is gonna let us easily transition two distinct frames with data motion. Essentially what we're doing here is using extremely outdated software to glitch the hell out of the footage. Go ahead and save this by hitting Ctrl S. Be sure to give the file the AVI extension. Once it's finished encoding, we're finally ready to start messing with iframes and keyframes. Import the file you just exported from Avidimux and set video back to copy. Hit the up arrow on your keyboard to find the first iframe. Use the left and right arrow keys to navigate through the frames, and use the left and right brackets to isolate them. Using Ctrl C Ctrl V, you can copy the P frames like I'm doing here. This is what causes the pixel movement. Copy and paste the same P frame several times to extend its movement. In order to get the pixels to blend into the next frame, you'll need to find the iframe between the two clips and hit the delete key to remove it. Once you're happy with what you've changed, you're free to export as an AEVI. Also, don't enable smart copy. Here's the result. By the same team, they just like outsource it to the super. You got that double jump like perfected. Oh, look at you. Look at that wall. Wow, look at that. 